Hello IT pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy Albedril. In this video I'm going to show you how to enable TPM on a Dell computer. Okay, so by the way, not all Dell computers or HP or any other model have uh, TPM on it. Uh, the older your computer is, the less, the less likely you have a TPM on it. Okay, so a TPM is a physical chip on your motherboard. That's why not all of them might have it. So as you can see, I have this, uh, this is my desktop. This is Windows 10. It also works for, also works for Windows uh, 8. The process is the same. So I'm using this Dell Optiplex 3040, but you can use any other model or laptop. Okay. So the first thing we have to do is check if the TPM is already enabled. So you go to the search bar and you're going to type TPM.msc. So once you see the icon over there, you are going to click on it and it's going to take a few seconds and now it's giving me this message. Compatible TPM cannot be found, so check the BIOS. So it's telling me that I don't have TPM, but I know for sure that this model has it, so we're going to check on that. So you might be getting this uh, message, so we're going to see in the BIOS if you have it and we are going to enable it. One other thing you can check, because normally you want TPM to work with a BitLocker. So BitLocker is a software that belongs to Microsoft. It, it comes included with Windows 10 Pro and above. So that encrypts your hard drive. So it's more secure. You can also use it for other games, but that's another topic. And it's also a requirement for Windows 11. So you click, you, you right click on your C drive, you go to turn on BitLocker and it's giving you this error that you cannot activate it because, well, there is no uh, TPM option on it. There is no TPM on this device. So you might be getting these errors or these messages. So the only, we're going, like I said, we're going to check the BIOS. So for that, we're going to restart the computer and get into the BIOS. So as you can see, the computer is restarting, and now I'm pressing the, uh, the F2 key on my keyboard to get access to the BIOS. So I'm wearing the BIOS. So yours might look a little different depending on your model. So, but this is the general thing. So uh, you can see on the top that it says Dell Optiflex 3040. And now you have to look for something like uh, security or something related to that word. So in this case, it's security just like that and you select TPM 2.0 security. So as you can see, it's not checked. You can read all, all of that, but you have to check on it. So right away, it's going to look like this. So make sure that everything that is selected, like, in the, on, like on the screen, and as you can notice, it's not enabled. So the only thing we have to do is enable it. So you click on that, it's going to blink for a few seconds for some reason, and then you save the changes. So you click apply, okay, and then you just, uh, we have to restart the computer. So we're going to click exit. And while it's restarting, this is a good time for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. So now in this part, the video is sped up until we get into the login screen for Windows. Once there, you log in, and now we're going to try exactly the same. So we go to the search bar and type tpm.msc. Then we click on the icon one more time, and now we, we see something different. So it's telling me TPM management on local computer, configure TPM and it supports by the window platform. So you can see a status TPM is ready for use and TPM man manufactured information specification version 2.0. So that's the version that we have. So now you know that it's enabled. Next, we go to this PC and we're going to do the same. Right click on the C drive or any other drive that you may like and we go to turn on BitLocker. So as you can see, it's showing us something totally different. It's telling us that we have to save the key to start the encryption. So that's another thing, but that's how you enable BitLocker, or well, TPM and then BitLocker on a, De on a Dell computer. So I'm not going to do it right now, I'm just going to cancel it, but that's how you do it. That's what I wanted to show you in this video. Right? So now maybe you want to watch one of these videos. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, as you know, I'll see you in the next video.